Get your piece of Facebook's $725 million privacy settlement, a step-by-step -step guide on how to apply. It looks like Facebook has landed itself in hot water yet again over a privacy lawsuit. This time, though, they're shelling out a whopping $725 million to users that were affected by the scandal. So if it happened to be one of you unlucky ones who got caught up in this mess, you might want to jump on board and try to claim some of that sweet settlement money. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you're like most people, you've probably used Facebook sometime between 2015 and 2019. Am I right? Well guess what? You might be entitled to a piece of that $725 million settlement that Facebook is paying out for a privacy lawsuit. In this video, we'll be walking you through the process of applying for your share so that you can get the compensation you deserve. First up, we'll check to see if you're eligible for the statement and see if you can meet that criteria. Then we'll guide you through step-by-step -step how to submit your claim and show you how to provide all the necessary information to support your application. So whether you are a current or former Facebook user, stick around to the end so we can tell you all the information that you need to know about how to apply for your piece of the settlement. Let's jump into it. Meta is the company that owns Facebook and recently got hit with a $725 million settlement a class action lawsuit. The lawsuit was filed back in 2018 and it was revealed that 87 million Facebook users had their information shared by Facebook without their permission to Cambridge Analytica. But here's the good news. If you were affected by the data breach, you might be able to get a cut of that $725 million settlement. All you got to do is fill out a claim form and you could be in for a huge payday. It's pretty wild to think that so many people's data got shared without their knowledge or consent, right? No wonder there's a lawsuit. At least there's some sort of justice for the affected users. So it doesn't matter if you're a current or former Facebook user. You had to have had your data shared from May 24th, 2007 to December 22nd, 2022, and that's how you'll be eligible to claim. Whether you have been active on that account or not, just as long as you use Facebook at some point in time during that time, you could be able to earn some cash. All right, so you wanna get your hands on some of that sweet Facebook money? Here's what you gotta do. First things first, you gotta go submit a claim. No claim means no cash. And just the heads up, if you do get some money, you can't sue Facebook again for the same privacy violation. To get started, you're gonna head over to facebookuserprivacysettlement.com and fill out a simple form with your email address, phone number, and your username or user ID to confirm your account. If your account is inactive now, you can still estimate when it was active. Just check out old emails and see whenever you signed up or canceled. It is important to note if you had multiple Facebook accounts, you can only file a claim for one of them, so choose wisely. Once you've filled out the form and given the necessary information, you'll need to provide payment details so that you can get your payout. Pretty easy, right? Now let's talk about the money. If you're one of the 87 million Facebook users affected by the Cambridge Alitica mess, then you're probably wondering how much money could you be looking at? Well, unfortunately, it's hard to say for sure, but the amount of money that you might get will depend on how many people file claims. Just so you know, don't get your hopes up too high because a lot of settlement cash will go towards paying lawyers involved in the case to the tune of around 180 million. That's a lot of money. For regular folks like you and I who are impacted by the data breach, the rest of the money will be divvied up. While the eight named plaintiffs could get as much as around $15,000 each, the rest of us should expect a lot less. But hey, more money is better than less money, is that right? So if you're eligible, it's definitely worth filing a claim. Just don't forget to do it by the deadline of August 25th, 2023. Now, I understand that the settlement amount for Facebook users affected by the Cambridge Analytica scandal may not seem like much, but trust me, it's still worth filing a claim because even if the payout isn't significant, submitting a claim can help hold companies accountable for their actions. But don't get too excited quite yet because the final hearing to approve the settlement isn't until September. And even if it does get approved, there's gonna be some bureaucratic and legal obstacles that are going to cause delays. So you might have to wait a little while before you get your hands on that money. The legal experts say it should take up to 90 days for the payout process to start once the settlement is approved. But hey, it's better to file a claim and potentially get some compensation than to miss out altogether, don't you think? Thank you so much for tuning into this video on how to get a slice of that $725 million privacy settlement from Facebook. Make sure you don't miss out on the chance to get paid for any information misuse. Just follow our simple guide and submit your claim successfully. If you found this video useful, just go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're new. 
and make sure to keep an eye out for our next video. We'll see you around.